Hello everybody, it's Mars 7, Mars 07, excuse me, it's April Marshall. Today, I've heard about the sky pretty much every freaking day for like the last three weeks. Uh, yes. So, uh, today, yeah. So, today we're going to be, as Natal says, we're going to be reacting to Andrew Tate. Uh, we're not reacting to his videos directly yet. We'll even know if he has videos or not. Not is he famous for absolutely no reason? Please correct, excuse me. I don't even know. Uh, so Andrew Tate is literally everywhere at this point. That's what the video is called. Heard about him more than made a video. I just heard Jack told me told some things about him. I was like, screw it, I gotta make a video on this. Because I just want to get my first reactions. I want y'all to be with me. So yeah. Because <laughs> We're kind of drawing video ideas, so we need something to react to. Yeah. But today, let's do this. So, before we get started, uh, we got a shout out to give. Um, shout out to SC Games. Thank you so much for subscribing. Yeah. Thank you so much for subscribing. We are, now this brings me to this idea. Well, this is reality, I guess. But this brings me to this. We are almost, please subscribe. We are almost, if you have not yet, please subscribe. We are almost at 200 subscribers, almost breaking another milestone for our channel. It was like yesterday we hit 100. You know, that was in December last year. It was actually on Christmas, actually, of all, of all days. No, this is not scripted. I swear, I woke up, I was like, wait, we're at, wait, we're at 101? We're at 101? Well, we are so close to 100 subscribers. Right now, we are at 197, if I'm not mistaken. Yeah, we're at 197. Also, in the background, you hear stuff that Miss Watson kept saying, he's practicing wall fine. Yeah. Had that on in the background. Why not? So, yeah, guys, I'm, I'm excited to react to this. We'll see. I decided to pick a video. Now, I'm trying to look at the. Uh, Downside and so like I saw Dark Rise. I, I was like, eh, let's just react to uh this. So why is Andrew Tate everywhere? Yeah, so let's do this. Yeah, we are getting super, super close to 100, 200, excuse me, 200 subs. Only three more. We are really close. So it would mean a lot if you subscribe. Yeah. Ever since 100, but chasing for 200. All the milestones. I looked out, and it kind of stuck up on me. I was like, wait, we're almost at 200. Holy crap. Maybe we could get 250 by the end of this year. <clears throat> I'm willing to bet that. I think we can try to get to 250 at the end of the year. Let's make that our goal. 250, 250 subscribers at the end of the year. And it's closing in, actually. And we still got like three and a half months left. But I mean... I think we can reach that pretty easily, knock on wood. Yeah. So let's try to get to 250 by the end of the year. Let's try to get 200 as soon as possible. And yes, 250 as soon as possible, but deadlines by the end of the year. We had 100 at the end of the year last year. We went for, we aimed for 100 at the end of the year last year. It happened. Now we're shooting for 250 at the end of this year. We'll see, and hopefully we can reach 200. So yeah, we're getting really close. I just want to say thank y'all for all the support. We've gained more subscribers than ever in this last year. Yeah, we've been gaining subscribers. Like, not as fast as Mr. Beast, obviously, but I mean, it's still a great start. I mean, there's not many people who could gain subscribers that quickly. Yeah. I'm just very thankful for all y'all's support. I just want to say that. Anyways, we're here to focus on Andrew Tate. So let's do this. This is by ES Sport Score Esports. I almost said ES Sports Esports. Yeah, let's see the quality check, shall we? Uh, video you're watching right now is in 1080p. Video I'm watching right now is in 1080p as well. So we're all on the same level. I mean, frame might not be as good, but uh, for you, for y'all on y'all's end, we'll see that. Let's see this. Oh. Wait, his name's Josh Barry, Burry, Josh Burry, Burry. There's a nice guy named Josh Barry, so I mean, what do you know? 
and let's see why Andrew Tate is everywhere. It's 2022 and a retired kickboxer is exploding on Twitch and probably your social media feeds talking about how his girlfriend can't go to the club without him and how he's owed a portion of her OnlyFans proceeds. Mm. Andrew Tate went viral after a stream involving XQC and Hassan on Aiden Ross's Twitch channel, but there's a lot more to him than that. So we just- Oh yeah, if you're on Aiden Ross's channel, that means you're big. Yeah, I should speed enough on there I want, of course. Decided to ask, who is this guy? What has he been doing recently? And why is he now exploding on Twitch? Let's dive in. I thought it was YouTube, but I mean, come on. All right, we'll start to have the socials after this. Before we get into the video, just a warning that this video does include discussion of physical and sexual abuse. Oh, so oh, oh, no, 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 oh, okay, okay. Sex work and some of include discussion of physical and sexual abuse, sex work, and some of Tate's clips include language and attitudes that some people would consider misogynistic. So I understand if you want to skip this one. So if you're watching this video, it's probably because... Okay, guys, we're really brave, so we're going to do it anyway. This video gets taken down. It is what it is. Yeah. But hey, this video is on the internet, and this video is on the internet, too. Yeah. We're just doing this for entertainment purposes only. Not, we're not, our number one goal is not for views, like a lot of other people. Like, the views are amazing. That's probably our second or third. I just, the number one goal is to get all the support. It's to, like, have fun on this channel and support us with you and yeah, it's make some friends. Yeah, I did this thing for fun. So yeah. Yeah, I didn't mean to do that. Like a gun. Yeah, but we're doing this for fun. So, yeah. You want to know who Andrew Tate is? Andrew, I've seen some of your work uh, as you're. Oh. Ugh, oh, okay. okay, okay. All right, I think I've seen enough. He's smoking. I think I've seen enough. Got the next one, peace. I'm kidding, we're gonna react to this anyway. You're doing the rounds on Twitch here, and uh, a lot of- How am I a pit bull? Um, yeah. He looks a lot like pit bull, so you- the things that you like, like the artist and slash NASCAR owner. Team owner, excuse me. Not, not, not a dog, but not the dog, but like the fireball. Yeah, you know what I mean. You said that you've been called out on specifically in regards to like women driving, I I as a matter of fact, are just generally untrue. Today, Andrew Tate is a British American influencer, but I'm willing to bet some of you know him from various points in his past. In the early 20 teens, he was a kickboxer and there's still footage of him out there. He won kickboxing championships in 2009 and 2013. Thanks. Uh, pretty long time ago. I feel old. Jesus Christ. <laughs> I was born in 2007, so yeah. But he moved on, landing a spot on Big Brother before he was removed from the camp. Whoa, he was on Big Brother? Team. But he moved on, landing a spot on Big Brother before he was removed from the cast because of a video that appeared to show him beating his ex-girlfriend with a belt. Take oh. I didn't see Andrew Tate on Big Brother though, because I'm I'm a big Big Brother, I'm a big Big Brother fan. Yeah, I'm a, I actually, I actually do watch Big Brother a lot, especially what's been going on lately. I'm not gonna spoil it anymore. Okay, spoiler coming. All right, spoiler coming. Okay, whenever I in the spoiler. All right, when I, whenever I do this, that means the spoilers ended. Yeah, three. Okay, hold on. That that means you can unmute it. Okay, three, two, one. Yeah, if you've been watching Big Brother, you've seen that the Daniel just got evicted and he just exposed the Leftovers Alliance. Sorry. But he he basically just exposed the Leftovers Alliance. Yeah, well, he tried at least. Yeah, he's a bit crazy. Yeah. Anyways, yeah, I'm just really excited to see the next one. And no, that is not the Asian middle finger. I'm not trying to be racist. It's just I'm improvising at this point. Yeah. Jack would probably say different because her so his sister Sophia. Because we we're not we're not racist or anything. Obviously, racism is terrible. We we used to joke around with the Asian middle finger. 
I don't know what 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 the meme is behind it, but if, if I offended people, I'm very sorry. Anyway, what's going on? Kate claimed that the actions in the video were consensual. Maybe they were, but I can definitely understand. Oh, oh my ADD got to me. I was gonna try to search NJ Big Brother. Oh my god, such an idiot. Oh yeah, he's on Big Brother. Sorry, I'm just checking something out. Big Brother UK. Okay. Yeah, he was in Big Brother UK, so I don't recognize him. And if the Big Brother produced... Okay, I watch American Big Brother. Because that's the one we get, so yeah. But hey, about it. this last year's season sucked, and it was actually a little, honestly kind of racist. Obviously, I'm not trying to offend people, but it just kind of felt a little racist to me. The issue is that people are actually playing games, yeah. Producers. Again, we're against race, racism, so yeah, in all ways. Yeah. Would prefer to not have him in an enclosed space with lots of really stressed out people. It was around this time that Tate launched a business venture with his brother, Tristan. He seems to be very proud of it and has described it at length. He recruited some of his girlfriends and then strangers to chat with lonely men on cam over the internet. Now, if you're thinking this is a typical adult website involving cam girls or something, you're wrong. I mean, some of them did operate on those websites seemingly, but that wasn't really the end goal. In the words of his brother, Tristan Tate, quote, it's all a big scam, end quote. One that involved targeting desperate and lonely men. Basically, the models were trying to get men to send them money for fake expenses by making them believe that they are or could be in a relationship. They went so far as to hire people to, the to manage the models' relationships with clients while they weren't even online. To quote Tate, it's a total scam. The model just has their hands on a keyboard that isn't even plugged in. I have real professionals who are fluent in English behind the scenes, getting men hooked, finding out their interests, the name of their dog, end quote. He also said that some men would spend tens of thousands of dollars at once, some even spending their inheritances. But according to Tate, he felt that a clause in their terms of service legally covered them saying, quote, one is broadcasting is for entertainment purposes only. That means if a model says she has a sick dog or a sick grandma, it doesn't have to be true. The next is that all cash given to models is a voluntary sign of gratitude for their time broadcasting. I guess I don't really need to agonize over whether this is a legitimate business venture or not, since Tate literally said that it's a total scam. And again, the Tate brothers told all of this freely to the mirror. This information isn't contested by them, it's confirmed by them. He moved to Romania. Not taking the pictures, just trying to pull you off. Yeah, and in, right now. in a now deleted video, he said that. Don't worry, I'm still listening. No, it's not a script, I promise. We're not scripted here, I promise. Yeah, I, I mean, I don't know what to say about scripted channels at this point. They're bad. We're not clickbait or anything. We do all of our videos on iTunes. Stop bringing that up. Yeah, because I know people, a lot of people will be like, oh, you're scripted. I'm like, we're not. Brother, we don't clickbait here. I'm sorry. We don't clickbait here. If you're looking for clickbait, why don't you go watch more? It's very fast, browse up. And what's the skin on? 40% of the reason why was their attitude towards sexual assault claims. The account that he used to tweet them is now suspended. But in 2017, oh. Tate tweeted oh. that. You must be going to turn off annotations. Nothing against them. Nothing against the YouTuber. Just don't want them on. That's all. They're a distraction. Quote, 
Next point, if you put yourself in a position to be raped, you must bear some responsibility. I'm not saying it's okay you got raped, end quote. And also, quote, if you go out, meet a guy, take his drinks all night, go to his apartment drunk, start to kiss him, then he grabs your tits, not harassment, end quote. He also wrote a strange serial martial- Oh god, my ear just say. Yeah, it seems like Andrew Tate is very sexual. At that's what he comes off to me as. So yeah, let's keep on that. We still got a while left. Martial arts story that I cannot get into in this video, but if that sounds intriguing, please check out this awesome video by Zoe B, where she dives into how a man who said it's stupid to read books wrote a book. Yeah. What? <laughs> he just said that it's stupid to read books. Actually, writes book. What a hypocrite! Like he's like trying to demote his own story. Oh, you can't oh, read books. Stupid. I wrote a book. I don't think you should read it. That's what's coming off me has. Yeah. You might also remember him for this hilarious tweet about how because he hadn't seen Star Wars, he became a multimillionaire. More recently, Tate's home in Romania was raided in connection with a sex trafficking investigation, although there seems to have been no update on this case. But if you knew about Tate, the Trump supporter, although there seems to have been no update oh god trump supporters okay extreme well politics supporters in general are the worst i'm talking i'm talking both sides like liberal and conservative those are the worst but i've seen really bad trump supporters like the ones who read the white house obviously here we're not political necessarily i support Kanye west i'm really just independent so yeah uh, and then obviously yeah, that was their own problems. I'm not political, so I just I just hate all the politics. I hate li I hate the liberal side and I hate the conservative side. I don't hate the people necessarily, not all of them at least. I just don't want to be in any of them. I'm independent, you know. I hate politics. So moving on. On this case. But if you knew about Tate before the Aiden Ross stream, it's probably because you saw one of his various hot takes on your chosen form of social media. Maybe it was about relationship dynamics between men and women today. I don't like traveling the world with women. I think it's one of the most frustrating things a man can possibly do. Or maybe it's about how, according to him, depression isn't real. And I said depression wasn't real. And I know that's like a really controversial take. And my point was very simple. My point is that depression is a... Uh, yeah, but... My opinion that depression is very serious. I mean, that's how Kurt Cobain died. Well, it was really because of drugs. And then the pressure came in. Yeah, rest in peace. Oh my God, my ears ringing again. Sorry. Yeah, depression is very serious. I don't have it. I've never had it. It's just, but I know how serious it is. My God, my dad vacuums like 24-7 feels like. Like lately, it's such a lately. Hi, let's do this. Ah, yeah. oh, you gotta be kidding me! Oh, it's on you. Um, depression isn't real, and I. Oh my God! Hold on one second. Up, uh, zoom. Okay, let's keep on going. He said depression wasn't real. And I know that's like a really controversial take. And my point was very simple. My point is that depression is a natural instinct inside of men. And it's yeah. something it's something that is designed to show you that you need to change something about your life. Action wins. That's a, that's honestly a crazy take. Therapy is not action. Therapy is sitting and crying and complaining. Talk is not action. A shit chat is an action. So depression isn't real, but also it's a natural instinct telling men to change something about their lives. But the thing they should change is not going to therapy. Stay tuned for the answer from Tate, which of course costs $50. Anyways, the Aiden Ross. So, so what's your point then, Tate? 
Andrew, whatever your name is. Stream is, of course, the reason that many of us in gaming, esports, streaming are now discussing Andrew Tate. And while the stream seems to have been a net positive for Tate, he also had a disastrous debate with Hassan, where his argument was basically that he felt like the facts were wrong. I, I honestly don't know. It was a, it was really bad. The fact that you're going on the internet, finding some study and saying that this is the truth, especially after the age of COVID and all the f truth we were told with that garbage, you want to sit here and say, oh, the internet said X. I'm sure the internet did. I'm talking about my personal experiences and some people agree with me and some people do not. That is perfectly fine. Okay, so that's how. Okay, okay, he says COVID's joke. God dang it. Damn you, buddy. You held the neck yourself sign. Look, look at this. Nothing against him. Just, he just held the neck yourself sign. How dare you? You know, I'm not side two. Nah. I still take it seriously these days, even though it's been three years now. That's what Jack texts me about it. Oh, we got to where we are now, but I want to. Ah, there you go. Sorry. Uh, but obviously, he said COVID's a joke and all. I mean, people died from COVID. It's very serious. Obviously, now it's not as bad. It hasn't even been, been as bad. Like, it's literally been my opinion ever since the vaccine came out. It's gotten much better. Yes, when Delta came up, it screwed everything up again. At least that night, 80% of the things up again. Really, it's sex 60. 75. Yeah, it basically met messed up like three fours of the things. And then then once March came around, it got much better. And then, yeah, we're here. Not going out, obviously. Uh monkey pox. This is like the only disease that's even relevant these days. Yeah, my mom got COVID a couple weeks ago. I didn't I ended up not getting it, so even though I got sick. So weird. Yeah, but like COVID was very serious back then. Like obviously I don't really care about it more. I care about COVID anymore. But once 2020 half 2020 that was like real serious, even half of 2021 really. Yeah. And then when Omicron went off quite crazy at the beginning of this year, late last year, yeah. Uh yeah, but I mean my I just don't think it's relevant anymore. I think it's not much. It's not much better. Not feel good. What's he gonna say? Yeah. What do I know? He's a chump sports. I I I probably know why. So why? He's covered the joke. Yeah. I mean, I okay. I saw a school district though that literally still has a mask mandate and and they're keeping it, even though they put it in two years ago. I'm not going to call up the school district. But then DFW, I'm not going to call it out. I don't want to get in trouble or anything. The looks of a mask mandate. And dude, COVID's literally over by now. Like, not as bad. Yeah. The air conditioner is broken in here. I have the fan on really high power. So, uh, and Literally, it's even hot without a blanket on. I'm sweating in here. Yeah, I might have to move out of the studio if it gets, if it, if it gets worse, because it's going to suck if that's the case. Because, yeah, it's been doing that for voice crack. It's been doing that for a while now. Hold on. Let me I, I think a while. Let me uh, turn, turn the fan off a little bit. Right, I'm literally sweating my butt off. Like, literally, my butt's sweating. Yeah, I'm gonna get this air conditioner fixed. Finish this video by discussing who Tate is today and why you're seeing him everywhere. First, let's consider that his first does make a good. He makes a good point. That's for sure. Successful business was a self-admitted scam. In many ways, he's no better than the Cash App scammers that Kit Boga regularly humiliates on stream. Honestly, he might be worse. But what is Andrew Tate up to today? Well, he's kind of like a self-help guru almost through his 
paid program, Hustlers University, which promises to teach you about all sorts of stuff, like maybe committing fraud. Wait, did he just say do fraud? If you start business this way, make a website, put some pictures on there, pretend you've got a whole bunch of stuff you ain't got, and start getting money in, you can start this business for five grand. I'll, I'll put on this side that way. A whole bunch of stuff you ain't this way. Wait, did he just say do fraud? Is that Corey LaJoy? Fraud? If you start business this way, make a website, put some pictures on there, pretend you've got a whole bunch of stuff you ain't got, and start getting money in, you can start this business for five grand. They have a whole system that professes. They ain't fraud. Okay, this guy should not be on the rise. I feel like I'm getting real skeptical of this guy. This is to teach you how to make money, but from what I've heard from people who have actually taken it, it's stuff you could essentially Google. Ultimately, the advice isn't the point. It might be bad, but it isn't the point. Hustlers University is a scam in the conspicuous shape of a pyramid. Try it yourself. Search for Hustlers University right now. Why exactly are there so many copycat pages? Why are there people absolutely everywhere vouching for him? Why are there thousands of accounts on YouTube and Twitter that appear to be Tate, but upon closer inspection, they're just reposting his content? The answer is that if you're an affiliate of HU, you get paid for signing people up to HU. So regardless of the content of the program, the model definitely works if you can sign up some more people. This was when it all clicked for me. See, some people have wondered about Tate's over-the-top persona, like, is this an act? Is it supposed to be entertainment? He makes unbelievable claims so often, like, that he's the world's first trillionaire, that it all seems extremely surreal. To the point where DeCerdo's Alec Mullins asked recently if Tate is playing a character. Great read, and I don't want to spoil his conclusion, but I think I have the answer. It doesn't matter at all. Tate makes money when people sign up for HU. His affiliate. I feel like Andrew Tate, the impression I'm getting, he's one of those people who use being rich as an advantage to, in a selfish way. I don't know. If I was rich, I'd, I'd do good things with this. Like, I wouldn't, like, put out fake concert or anything. I'd, I'd donate to charities and all. Yeah, I'd be a Mr. Beast type character, maybe. Who knows? I obviously, I don't have that much money right now, so. Affiliates yeah. post his content. Who knows, though? I can have one day. And the more outrageous that content is, the more likely people are to share or react to it, even in a purely negative way. Sure, 95% of people might walk away thinking, yeah, this guy's a total asshole. But the 5% who don't might sign up for HU. So it's in his best interest to just say wild shit constantly, which he does. Tate told Hassan that if HU wasn't legit, if it didn't make you rich, he wouldn't have so many subscribers. But that's a pretty flimsy argument, right? Like. There could be a lot of reasons why he has so many subscribers. Like, I don't know, the commission that his affiliates get for signing people up. Come on guys, this isn't that hard. But does Tate need the money? I honestly don't know or care. And by his own admission, it seems to be more about his own influence. I think that there's gonna be a large paradigm shift coming in real time, maybe not this generation, but certainly the next generation. What that's gonna be, I don't know. Whether it's gonna be good or bad, I don't know. However, I believe that having people who agree with my worldview and agree with what I say and think, I think having so many people who are on my side of the fence with money is better than having a whole bunch of brokies. What does matter is that his shitty takes have the potential to marginalize or even endanger women. So I don't really care if he's trolling, if lots of people are taking these things seriously. But listen, Tate can't fix your anxiety or confusion about our changing world. Your anxiety is why he's targeting you in the first place. When he tells you that depression isn't real and you shouldn't see a therapist, think about it for a moment. Mental health professionals 
are literally his direct competition. If you have your life together and you feel confident about who you are, you probably don't need life advice from someone who seems extremely excited to boast about how he scammed downtrodden men. I guess what I'm saying is that Andrew Tate is sort of like the world's first human cryptocurrency or MLM, except instead of decentralized finance, it's more like decentralized PR. A lot of people with dreams of a better life are buying in and then they're getting their friends involved too because in some cases it's in their financial self-interest. All he's aiming to do is to convince you that you're poor and sad and if you want to treat women like he does. As I was saying, he uses rich, he is being rich as a selfish way to put yourself out there. You'll need to be rich first. I pay for everything. You don't need to be rich to have a great life. Well, obviously, you, you need some money. I mean, you can't go homeless. I mean, that's that would that would suck. I mean, obviously, going homeless is whole another thing. But I swear, like, you don't need all the money to have a great life. Like, right? You don't have to have a million dollars. The only thing that you need to have a great life is fun and love. That's all you need. People who love you, care about you, and having fun. Obviously, in like legal ways, not illegal ways. But like, just gotta use the best out there and become a be a great person. Yeah. Also, this person's a little different. Yeah. He thinks a completely different way. Instantly, as a man should. So when you walk into a house and you see mess, why is your lazy ass? not doing the right thing and start picking and cleaning shit up. And if you're sitting there going, that's sexist. Well, it's sexist for me to pay for everything, isn't it, you bimbo? He doesn't want to engage with reality because he's not selling that. After all these years, he's still selling the dream and he's targeting the same people that he discovered were all too willing to hand over money to his cam girls for the promise of some future relationship. He talks a big game, but as is sadly the case with so many of these get rich, life changing, controversial gurus, the shepherd most often turns out to be the wolf. I mean, Andrew Tate, just, I don't really think he's a great person. He looks things that, as a, looks a lot of things as selfish. By the way, we might watch that since I'll be like a Honey Boo Boo video. Yeah, okay. Andrew Tate. He does a YouTube channel. Yeah, I mean, Andrew Tate, obviously, first thing, health-wise, he smokes a lot, so that's not good. And he, he's using rich as a selfish way to give false advice. Like, depression is obviously a real thing. And therapy is, like, I had therapy for a while. Odd, looks, looks like it looks like I'm looking at, it looks like I'm looking at, like, something off of the stars. I'm just looking at the camera. I might put it down here. Yeah, I have to look at myself too. Hard. Yeah, but I mean, he's honestly giving me false. But I do not, do not take his advice. I do not recommend it. Do not take his advice. Uh, I mean, Andrew Tate. I mean, I just don't know what to think. I just think he's kind of not a little bit. Of, he's a very selfish person. Giving really false advice and say, like sexually socializing women and scamming. I mean, it just doesn't sound like the greatest person on earth. Let's search it. There he is. He's an American kickboxer. Oh my god, he talks about the most sexual things. Like, that, that's not even really necessary. 
They're unnecessary. Let's see. Obviously, I give controversial opinions. It's not like this controversial. I think I obviously I hate Instagram. I mean, I mean Instagram is not that good, honestly. Obviously, I hate TikTok. Say what you want about that. Let's see. Ew. Okay, let's see. Oh. Okay, at least he's donating things. So, I mean, either either way, I mean, he just seems he just comes up. Kind of rubs me the wrong way to admit. Dude, he's smoking a lot. He's gonna die of lung cancer if that's if that's the case. Yeah, Andrew Tate, I mean, there, I mean, at least he's done a charity. I'm not sure if it's real or not. But he does come off as a selfish person at some point. Yeah, but he has made a lot of decisions. Like, I just don't have great points. Fine. That's my that's my take. Anyways, y'all, that's it for this video. I don't really recommend you fall much. Like, don't take Andrew Tate's up. Andrew Tate's advice, like about the pressure or anything, or a lot of things. So yeah, it's just, I mean, I just don't even know at this point. Yeah, but Andrew Tate is kind of, I know, I understand why people, I understand why people uh, get rubbed the wrong way by him. I mean, I kind of get rubbed the wrong way as well. I'm just saying, like, I don't think he's like, I think he's just a really selfish guy. I think he'd be really selfish a lot. Okay? Anyways, y'all, that's my reaction to Andrew Tate. Thank you guys so much for watching. Please like and subscribe. Have a nice day. Bye. See you on the next one.